Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, in the previous Lifestyle Medicine Update, I explained that back in the year 2012, the American Association for the Study of Liver Diseases and the American College of Gastroenterology and the American Gastroenterological Association started recommending vitamin E supplementation in the treatment of fatty liver problems. You know, with the rise in overweight people and obesity and type 2 diabetes in our society, there's been this corresponding rise in the incidence of fatty liver disease. And fatty liver disease is also known medically as steatohepatitis, which involves inflammation and fat accumulation in the liver. Now, it's often seen in alcoholics, but a form of the condition also occurs in non-alcoholic patients labeled non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or NASH. Sometimes it's called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease as well. But it's commonly seen in people who are overweight, obese, type 2 diabetics, people with metabolic syndrome, which is a pre-diabetic state. The danger is that this fatty liver problem can progress as more fibrosis occurs and more inflammation in the liver that leads to life-threatening cirrhosis. So it's a serious issue. Well, by sheer coincidence, after making that lifestyle medicine update last week, an important study this week, just released, showed that a probiotic supplement in conjunction with omega-3 fats can also help to reverse liver damage in patients that have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So in this trial, the researchers studied 48 adults who had non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, some of whom actually even had uh, type 2 diabetes. So 26 participants received a combination of the probiotic with the omega-3 fats from flax seed and wheat germ oil. They got that for eight weeks every day. And 22 participants received the placebo. The results show a significant reduction in the mean fatty liver index score, which measures a host of blood markers for liver inflammation and liver damage in the group that got the probiotic and the omega-3 fatty acid uh, combination. There was also, uh, there's been a previous study also of 130 patients who were hospitalized for cirrhosis who were just given a probiotic supplement for six months and we saw impressive improvement in their outcomes in this randomized control study. And animal studies using omega-3 fats with probiotics have also shown promising results in terms of managing fatty liver disease. So it's likely that the probiotics, these are sort of uh, friendly gut bacteria that you're sort of swallowing in pill form, help to populate the microflora of the large intestine, crowding out the unfriendly bacteria so that the unfriendly bacteria can't secrete these hostile and, and pro-inflammatory chemicals. And we think also that the, the friendly bacteria in the probiotic are actually secreting chemicals that get into the bloodstream, go to the liver that helps suppress inflammation and have some other protective effects. We know that with omega-3 fats, that they slow down the rate at which cells divide and they reduce inflammation. These are likely mechanisms through which omega-3 fats have helped to reduce the development of cirrhosis and reverse some fibrotic damage to liver cells. But I'm sure we're going to discover other ways that probiotics and omega-3 fats help to improve liver function as the research continues to unfold. But this is just one more example of the power of nutritional medicine in the prevention and complementary management of a health condition. If you've been following my weekly lifestyle medicine updates, then you've seen that almost every week there's a new study of importance that reaffirms that the foods we eat, the exercises that we do, the supplements that we take play a really significant role in modulating our health and our healthy life expectancy. So the use of probiotics and omega-3 fats and vitamin E supplementation, this is just one more example of the power of nutritional medicine to modulate the impact of a potentially life-threatening condition, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So as always, I've included a link to the scientific uh, references below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.